What's going on, CDL fans? Today, I am live tier listing all players for Major 1 and the Major 1 qualifiers. Like I said, I'm live, so you can see the chat on screen. You can see the people that are in here watching me live. And if you're watching this in post for the edited video, I very much appreciate it. But we are going to get into this tier list, and uh, we're going to chat about each player. All right, chat, let's get into it. Why is the chat box on screen not working anymore? Yeah, chat is stuck. Dude, OBS is seriously struggling today. I know, like I said, Ben J. Nassim tweeted that the OBS wasn't working for him. So, all right, we're going to start with the top. Uh, we'll start with Pred. Pred is S tier, right? I mean, I don't think there's anything else you need to say about it. Pred was easily Optic's best player at the major. He was probably a top four, top five type of guy at the major. Definitely uh, S tier player, in my opinion, without a doubt. Next up, we have Abizi. Now, Abizi, we all know how effective Abizi is. We all know that what he does on this Atlanta phase team is something that is super, super valuable. I think for me, I, I got to go A tier um, for a BZ. Uh, I think you could say S tier, but I mean, A tier, S tier. The one thing I do want to say is just because someone's an A tier doesn't mean they're like bad, right? A tier is still the top percentage of players. I think for me, a BZ, I mean, he doesn't, he's sitting at just below a 1KD, which is pretty, uh, which is lower than what we've grown to expect from him. Um, I think he's, his engagements, his kill percentage, like the amount of non-traded kills, his Slayer rating, all those sorts of things are a little bit low for what I'd expect from a BZ and what I want to see from him. I think by the end of the year, this dude ends in S tier. But for me, for this season so far, I'm going to put him A tier, which is still really good. Then we move on to Abuza, one of the rookies, the first rookie for this list. I'm going to put him B tier. I think Abuza has been solid. Um, He has been, he's been a solid rookie. He hasn't really been in that rookie of the year conversation. But he's been pretty good. Um, I mean, he's probably been the second best player. Maybe him and Hook are kind of tied for second best player on Surge so far this season. Next up, we got Lamar Accuracy. Uh, probably B or C, right? He's been, he's been pretty solid so far this season. He hasn't been great. I mean, he's sitting at probably like, what, a 0 .8, 0 .85 KD. He was good on LAN. I got to give it to him. He was definitely really good at, on LAN. I think, he, I think I probably put him in the B tier. Uh, S tier, Danny is a number one Lamar fan. I, I don't think Lamar goes S tier, unfortunately. I think B tier is probably a pretty solid tier for Lamar, especially given how he played on land, like I said. I think he was, he was good at the major. Next up, we have Afro. I mean, the whole of LA Thieves has honestly been pretty bad. Probably like D tier, honestly, in my opinion. I, like I said, all of LA Thieves have honestly been very, very disappointing for me. They've all been super inconsistent. No one's really slaying. Everybody's negative on the team. Then we have Arsides, probably D tier. I mean, uh, you know, Arsides has been the odd man out on the Seattle Surge team, in my opinion. He definitely hasn't been, he definitely hasn't been great the last couple seasons. Uh, I feel bad for the guy because I really like Alec, but he just has not been super good. Um, he had a couple maps where he played okay at the major. At, people are saying F tier. There is no F tier, chat. There is no F tier. I, I think I have to move. I think I have to move Afro down. I think I have to move Afro down. I'm just thinking about it. Like, I don't think Afro and RCDs are really having that much better or worse of a season than each other. Um, I see Cohen as well saying LAT fan bias. I think I do move Afro down. Then we're looking at Adam Assault. Assault has had an interesting season. He's been pretty good. I'm leaning towards C, but I feel like you could put him B. He's been really good in control but he's been kind of okay and everything else. He had his hand warmers at the major, which kind of gave them that buff. Um, without the hand warmers, I'm telling you, LA Thieves beats LAG on land. I think accuracy could low-key come down as well, um, but we're going to keep him at B tier for now and see how we go. Then we're going to attach. Um, this might be a hot take, but I might put attach in the A tier. Attach has had a really good season, in my opinion. He's been by far the best player on... Uh, he's been by far the best player on Legion. He's putting up numbers in every single series. He's been super consistent. I think like when you look at Attach and Abizi next to each other, it might not look like it makes a lot of sense. Um, but Attach has like a 1.06 on the year so far. I think, I honestly think Attach deserves a bit of respect this season. I think he's been really good. Um, next up, we are looking at Capsital. Uh, I think Capsital probably slots in on the C tier. Um, Cap has been great in SND. He's been okay in the rest of it. He's really been pushing the pace. He's been slaying. But as a whole, I don't know that I'd put Cap in the same tier as guys like maybe Abuza right now. He's just been pretty inconsistent. Don't forget to attach as a worse team than FaZe. 
Yeah, but I'm not really necessarily thinking about how good teams are doing. I'm really just trying to look at the player. Like, obviously, the guys on phase are going to be ranked higher than other teams or the guys on ultra because their team is so good. But that's also because the players are so good. Then we're looking at Cammy. He's going to go D tier. He's going to go D. He had one good series versus the Ravens, and we barely beat them in round 10, game five. Uh, I, I definitely think Cammy is uh, comfortably slotted in the D tier here. Um, then we're moving to Celium, S tier, right? I mean, I don't think there's anywhere else you could put Cell. The dude is the best main AR in the game. Maybe Insight's a little bit better so far this season, but Celium is definitely up there. Next up, we have Clay. Um, definitely B tier, I think. I think Clay next to Accuracy and Abuza makes a lot of sense. Clay has been the second best guy on Ravens this entire season. Um, he's been picking up the pace, which is kind of crazy for Clay. I thought he maybe slowed down a little bit, but. He's been, he's been moving a little bit on the map, so I definitely think Clay is, uh, is slotting in on that B tier. Uh, then we're going to Kleenex, S tier, best sub in the game right now. It's between him and Simp, and being as they just won the major, I'm definitely giving it to Kleenex. 1,000% S tier. I mean, Kleenex has been an A tier player probably most of his career, but I think he's over the hump into S tier so far this season. The dude is absolutely insane. The pace that he plays at, the amount of kills he gets, the way he's able to even play his life and not die, like the fact that he's able to have as many non-traded kills as he does, considering how fast he plays, he's one of the fastest paced players in the league. Um, definitely S tier. Then we're at Dashy. Now listen, chat. Dashy is a tough one because I think I think A. I think A is where I initially would put Dashy. A is obviously really, really good. I think if you're an A or S, that's really, really good. I see a couple A's, I see a couple S's, I see a B, Aches is going to come after me. Dude, I'd love to know what Aches has to say. He probably would put Dashy in what, like C tier this year? I feel like Dashy's probably A. He's been the number one hill kit in this season. He's playing the objective. Um, he's obviously still getting kills, playing his life well. I think Dashy A is fair. I don't think I'd put him in the same tier as the guys like Celium, Pred. Um, I think Dashy A makes sense, right? I, I'm not faded with that. I see most of you guys agreeing. Next up, we got Diamond Con, A tier. Put some respect on Diamond Con. I know he's been getting the respect he deserves. I think Diamond Con, similar to Attach, have both had years where they've been the top guy, undoubtedly, on their team. And honestly, DC has been better than Attach, in my opinion. Uh, this guy has been really, really good for LAG. He's been the reason why I think they're so good this year. No way he's the same tier as a BZ. See, the thing is, you can't look at it, because I know what you mean, Cohen. Like, I know what you mean, and I agree. If you look at it as an overall, a BZ A with Attach and Diamond Con seems crazy. A BZ hasn't been exceptional this year. He hasn't been exceptional. He's been really good, but so has everyone else on this tier. Diamond Con is the best player on his team. Attach is the best player on his team. A BZ has probably been third or fourth on his team this season, but he's still in A tier. So I still think it's really good. Uh, next up, we got Draws. He's going A as well. Uh, Draws has been really good. He started that season kind of slow, especially in Search and Destroy, which is weird for Draws, knowing how good he is in Search. But this dude grinds. He gets better and better with each series, honestly, in my opinion. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going Draws A. Glazer, dude. Draws is that guy. I would love to put him S tier because I love Draws. But he's got to be A tier, in my opinion, so far this season. Then we got Dylan Envoy. I'm putting him in S tier. I'm putting respect on Envoy. You might be able to argue he should go A, but Ultra have lost one series. I know I said I'm trying to do this based on the player, not on the team, but it's hard to overlook this Ultra team. I think if anyone from Ultra would go A tier, it'd probably be Envoy, but this dude makes plays. He enables his team so well. I think A or S, either one is acceptable, but I, maybe I got a little biased because Dill played for LAT, so I, I'm putting Dill in S tier. I'm putting him in S. Next up, we have Estriel. Estriel has had a weird season for me because I feel like sometimes he looks insane and sometimes he looks kind of okay. I think for me, I'm putting him C tier. Um, maybe you could argue B tier for Estriel, but I think as a whole, especially compared to other rookies and other players on his team, I'd probably put him C. I don't think he's been like that much better than Assault, who's his other teammate in here. So I think I'd go Estriel C. I see a lot of you guys agreeing with me in chat too, which is reassuring for sure. Um, then his teammate Fame is up next. Probably the same thing. Fame was honestly pretty nasty on LAN, especially in SND. He, he's been kind of mid most of the season online, especially in respawn game modes. He's an onliner. Nah, Fame was better on LAN than he was online, Cohen, in my opinion. 
I think he was definitely better on land. The amount of first bloods and like big plays. I mean, this guy, he absolutely broke my heart against LAT when he popped arguably one of the most insane three pieces I've ever seen. Then we got Fellow. Probably going to put Fellow C tier. He also was really, really good on land, but online, honestly, didn't look that much better than God RX, um, at least in his individual numbers. He enables Clayster, I think, to play like a B tier player. But for me, Cello, uh, Cello, uh, Fellow, I think, has got to go C tier. Um, but like I said, he played really good on land, to be fair. So maybe he's worth bumping up into B. But we haven't seen a ton of them. Um, I'm putting him C. I'm putting him C. I think that's a fair spot for Fellow. Next up, we got Ghosty. I'm listen. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. Ghosty's been our best player. I but I don't think he's been that much better than everyone else. I'm gonna put him C tier. Um, he was really good on land, but we only played one series and we played LAG. So like you know, a 1.4 against LAG and one series on land is cool and all, but it's also not like we played a top team. Not Rx. I mean, obviously D tier. No offense to him. Uh, congratulations to him on retirement. I hope he's I hope he's doing well and uh, having you know, finding things that he wants to do outside of COD. But I mean, obviously, obviously he's going to go down into the D tier. Next up, we have Gwyn. Now I'm in a weird spot with Gwyn because my original thought was B, but I don't think he should be in the same tier as Abuza and Clay. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he's been the best player on his team. He's been definitely better than Abuza. I feel like by a, by a pretty large margin. So I feel like he deserves to be an A tier. I feel like I want to put Gwyn in B, but I also feel like Gwyn is better than the guys in B tier, but he's not necessarily on the same level as the guy in A tier. He's definitely more B than A, I guess. He's definitely more B than A, so we'll keep him in B tier. Abuza's low B and Gwyn is high B. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hook, Hook, I think, goes B tier as well. I think Hook and Abuza have been pretty much the same most of this season. They've both been decent. Like, they've both been solid most of the time. They've had some really good series. Um, I think, I think Hook is like the epitome of B tier so far this season. Maybe organize the tiers. Oh, geez. Okay. I mean, I could try to organize the tiers, but you're gonna have to give me a second. So let's see here. If we start D, uh, honestly, I think I might put Alec over Cammy. If we go left or right, so farther left is better. Hmm. Actually, I don't know. It's hard to do this perfectly. In my opinion, it's hard to do this perfectly. I'd probably put Gwyn all the way over. I'd probably put Hook over Abuza. I'd probably put Clay over Lamar. In the A tier, uh, I'd probably have I'd probably have Dashy over a BZ, then Draws, then Diamond Con, and then S tier so far. Kind of good, pretty solid for ranking, I guess, throughout the tiers. Just that like a quick glance. He played one. You think, oh yeah, Draws over Abe, actually. You're right. That's my bad. Um, but then we're looking at Hydra. Hydra, I think, is S tier, but I honestly don't think he's better than the rest of the guys up here. Maybe you could say Hydra A, low key, because they did pretty bad on land, but the dude is still slaying. He's still playing at a fast pace. He's still doing really good things. He honestly was great up until the land for the most part, in my opinion. Like he was pretty much in the MVP conversation most of this season. Um, I think he's low S, in my opinion. I would put Hydra low S over high A. Next up, we have Illy. Uh, Illy's got to go A tier. Um, I'd probably put him right about there. I'd probably put him over attached, but right under Diamond Con. I, I think DC has been frying, so I think I gotta go DC over Illy, but I think I'd put Illy over attached in the A tier. Next up, we have Insight. This guy... Okay, we gotta think about where Insight's going here. He's definitely S tier. He's definitely S tier. But over who does he go? He's definitely over Hydran and Envoy. Dude, this might be crazy. Is that crazy? Is, is Insight... At, ab above Celium crazy. I feel like Insight is either here or like somewhere in somewhere near Cell and Pred. Somewhere near Cell and Pred. This dude Insight has been insane. I know people say he's slow, but that's his role on the team. So I can't really necessarily dock in points for that. He's obviously not getting in the same amount of engagements. So obviously he's not as effective around the map or as impactful. But this dude dropped a 1.5 on phase in the finals. He's been like a top five player this season, honestly. I think if you look at the entire major so far, like I genuinely think Toronto have three of the top five players so far this season. Maybe, maybe I put him behind Cell. Maybe I put him behind Cell. Um, if we're looking at the whole season, at the major, Insight was crazy. I put him in my team of the like major, my team of the week over Cellium. But I think if we look at the whole major qualifiers, I'm going to put Insight 
right behind Celium and S tier. Uh, next up, Joe Deceives. Uh, he's D tier. Uh, I'm putting Joe in D. I'm putting him right behind Afro. I mean, honestly, these guys are interchangeable. I really don't care who you have. Uh, I know people are saying Joe C. He's not C, guys. Uh, he's not C. Listen, as the I, I'm wearing, I'm wearing an LAT shirt right now. As an LAT fan, a guy who really watches these matches, this team, this team only has Ghosty and C tier, in my opinion. It's just not, it's just not working right now. It's just not working. Next up, we have Journey. He was pretty good online. He was kind of okay on LAN. I think he's probably B tier, maybe between Gwyn and Hook in the B tier, I think maybe. I see most people saying B. I see a couple C. Next up, we have Kenny. I see a couple Kenny A in chat. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real with you guys. Kenny is S tier. Kenny is S tier this year. This dude, Kenny, has been incredible this season. He's been doing near, basically the most damage on this team. He's been the leading in the comms. I don't know who, where I'd put him. I might put him right next to Pred, honestly, in the S tier. Next up, we have Kismet. Um, honestly, Kiz has been kind of disappointing for me this season. Um, he still does his thing, right? He still enables his teammates to do really well. But his engagements, his slaying, like the amount of gunfights he's winning, honestly, I think I put him high B. He's been good. Don't get me wrong. Like, Kiz is still very, very good. But I, he just hasn't been as good as last year. And last year, I probably would have had him high A. So I think he drops a tier, which is no disrespect to Kiz. Uh, but next up, we have Lucky. I would say Lucky is probably high B. I'd say he's probably high B. The dude has been really, really good. He's been good in search. He's been pretty consistent. Um, he started out the year insane, but he slowed down a little bit. I think I put Lucky high B. He's definitely over his teammate Journey. And then we're on Linz. Linz is probably... I might put I might put Linz right in the middle of A tier. I might put Linz right in the middle. Do I put him over like DC? Uh, I, you could go back and forth. Linz has gotten better and better as the season has gone on. Diamond Con has been great the entire year, in my opinion. Linz has literally stepped up. It feels like every series they play, he's a hundred percent A tier. Where you want to put him in the tier, I guess, isn't nearly as important. Then we got Metals because Metals has been really good. Metals has been really, really good. I see medals B or C. Dude, I don't know about C. I think maybe really high B. Maybe really high B or low A. I'm not 100% sure how I'd want to put this. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to go medals. I think I'm going to go medals. I think I'm going to go medals low A. Then we have Nero. Nero's been okay. Uh, I'd probably put him in the lower B tier. <sighs> Priest has been okay. Priest has been okay this season. Uh, I, might, I might put Priest in C tier. I might put Priest in C. He honestly hasn't really impressed me so far. He's definitely been better than Capsital. So he goes over him for sure. I might, I might slot Priest to like top of C. Oh, Danny with another five gifted, bro. This guy, Danny, is wiling out, dude. Wow, Danny, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, Purge, I mean, he's obviously, he's obviously going down here. He's obviously going D tier. I don't think that's much of a surprise for Purge. Uh, he just... Hasn't, hasn't been very good. No offense to the Rook. Uh, then we have Rial. We haven't seen a lot of Rial. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to slot him. I'm going to slot him top of D. We just haven't seen a lot of him. You know what I mean? Like he hasn't played a ton, but he wasn't necessarily great when he was playing. Uh, so I'll, I'll put him in D. I mean, you can put it wherever you want. Rial kicked out of Ravens probably. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think Rial probably doesn't retain his spot because Tej has been playing so good. Um, I feel bad for the kid. I do. Uh, long neck. I mean, I think he's top of S. Uh, I think this guy, for me personally, I have, I, I have, uh, I have scrap over Kleenex for me personally. I know a lot of people have Kleenex over scrap. I personally think scrap over Kleenex for the entire season. This dude is the best player in the game. He plays with an AR. He plays super fast. He gets kills. He, he does damage. He does it in every single game mode. Shotzi, I would probably put Shotzi in A. Maybe next to a BZ and A tier. They've both been kind of doing the job on their team where, like, they're not putting up the numbers, but they're making plays. They're hitting routes. Um, they're both good in search and destroy. I, I don't think Shotzi is having a bad year by any means. Then we get to Sib. Sib is definitely A tier. We got a lot of people in A tier, bro. We got a lot of people that have been good this year. I think I'd probably put Sib right under Diamond Con. He's just been a bit inconsistent for me. 
Um, Sib has really good series, and then you have series where he kind of gets he kind of gets fried a little bit. Like for the whole left to right thing, don't take the tears too seriously. Um, at the end of the day, this is all just for fun. Uh, Simp, S tier, obviously. I think I think these are the top three players in the game for me right now. Scrap, Kleenex, and Simp. Uh, this guy, Simp, is crazy. He's MVP the entire season for me up until the major, like up until the end of the major. We have Skies. Uh, this might, listen, this might be a hot take. I think Skies is S tier. I think Skies has been better than Hydra this season. I think Skies has been the best player on New York for the majority of this season. He does it in every single game mode. He, he, he's literally like, Getting damage, getting kills. Uh, I think Skies goes in the S tier. He's been honestly phenomenal. He really has been. I, I think, I, dude, I genuinely think Skies is actually the best player on New York so far this season. I think you could debate it between him and Hydra, but I, dude, I, I'm, I'm low key a Skies Glazer. I, I love Skies. Every single year I say this dude is underrated. Um, so <laughs> maybe that's just a little bit of glaze out of me. Then we're going to Slasher. Uh, Slasher probably slots in B, but where in B would I put him? I'd probably just put him next to Lamar, honestly. I think Slasher kind of just slides in next to Lamar. He's been good. He played really good on LAN, but they only played one series. So same thing I said for Ghosty. You can't really, you can't really read too much into one series on LAN. Um, so yeah, I think Slasher fits in B. And then his rookie in Snoopy, I think is also B tier. Where in B tier would I put him? I think Snoopy's been their best player. He's been better than Abuza, in my opinion. I think I put Snoopy right above Hook. I think Snoopy has been a top three rookie this year. I think he's been behind Gwyn and Linz. So I think he fits in there, like right here behind Journey in a good spot. Standy, uh, yeah, I think Standy is probably and like bottom of B. I think Nero has been a little bit better. You low key could probably put Standy top of C if you wanted to, but we'll slot him in the B tier. I mean, the B tier should probably be the biggest one anyway, because it's like the middle of the pack. So yeah, I think I go Standy B tier here. Uh, Tej. Tej is probably C. Um, I would probably put Tej maybe right above Ghosty. Tej has been solid. He's been solid. He hasn't been exceptional, obviously. That's why he's in the C tier. But I think Tej has been solid. I think he's earned that spot on that Ravens team, unfortunately, for Real. Uh, then we have Vickle. Vickle, I think Vickle is the best player on Miami. As, over the course of this entire season, I think Vickle has been the best player on Miami. Um, He's been so, so clutch. This guy is the, one of the iciest in SND. Uh, then, we have, then we have Vivid. Vivid is definitely B, I would say. Reese is probably... Uh, honestly, I think I put Reese right there. Kind of towards the upper part of the B tier. Reese has been good. He's been good recently as well. The guy has been uh, finding some consistency, which we haven't seen a lot from Reese. So I think putting him in B tier honestly makes a lot of sense. I would definitely say... He's the second best player on the Rocker team, right? Behind Linz. And then we only have one player left, chat. We only have one player left, and that is Awakening. And Awakening is going to go maybe right behind Tej and C tier. I think Awakening has been good. Um, on LAN, he was, on, he was good. He was not good most of the season. Uh, so I'm going to put, I'm putting Wake and C tier. I just, he just not, has not been good. But yeah, chat, I mean, this is the ranking. Like, this is, I think this is what I'm rocking with. The only thing I don't like is I feel like I have a lot of players in S tier, but at the same time, I feel like they all deserve it. I feel like they're all deserving of S tier. I don't think I'd knock anyone out of it. Let me know what you think of my list down in the comments. If you like it, make sure to drop a like on, this, on the video and sub to this channel for more CDL content. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.